Why not do a one-off video, a one-off vlog, telling y'all how I got my job with MLB. I want the time. Welcome to season four of the vlog. Isn't it crazy that we're here right now? Welcome back, everyone. Don't trust me. If you don't want to do this, I see you're still doing your little vlogging thing. That's really cute. And here we are. Today I am in New York. I'm in New York for today and then I leave tomorrow. And it's a crazy off season schedule working for MLB. So I figured why not do a one off video, a one off vlog telling y'all how I got my job with MLB because I get asked this question all the time and I'm tired of answering it to be quite honest. So that's what we're gonna do today in this video. We go to Mexico City Tuesday and then connect somewhere else. So it's crazy and I'm throughout this whole trip, I'm gonna explain to y'all what I'm doing and how I got the job. But first, We've got an Uber Eats order coming our way. I'm gonna run down to the lobby and snag that and I'll be right back. So it's pretty fitting that I'm in New York for this video because if you look way back three years ago on my channel, there's a vlog from here and then there's also a video prior to that is what's my post-grad plans. And that is, it, it all started here in New York. My first day of work for MLB was in New York. And I'm gonna tell y'all how I got to that point and my experience and everything like that. But first, <laughs> I need to eat this bagel. Bacon, egg, and cheese, avocado, everything bagel. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory there. We found out about literally three days ago, and I'm going like literally to the middle of nowhere, Mexico. Like when I say middle of nowhere, it's like six hour flight to Mexico City from New York, and then it's like three hour flight to Hermosillo, then two hour drive. So it's gonna be a really long day. But just to give you the nature of this job, it's a crazy. It can sometimes be last minute, it can sometimes be a fire drill. For being 25 or 24 years old, almost 25, it's a, it's a fun job in a way. Um, all the travel's great. It gets tiring sometimes, but you know, I, I'll never ha have this opportunity to do this again. Things like this. Hit it for him, hit it for him. Hit it for him. <laughs> we made it after uh, 18 hours. Left New York at like 4.30 in the morning. Joe's laying out all the gear, it's like 10 at night, and we start tomorrow at 7 a.m. That's how it goes. And there we go, everyone. I've been awake for 22 hours. You wanna work at MLB? This is, this is what it takes. You just gotta be different. Built different like me. I'm kidding. <laughs> so after we got to the hotel, we unpacked gear a little bit, whatever, put some stuff on chargers, and then also set up our audio for on the cameras, which are, which my camera's over there. Met with two players and their agent. They came over and we chit chatted a little bit. That's the nature of the game. Long days. What's up boys and girls? It is day one of the shoot. Uh, I have this 50 on, the C70, Sennheiser mic. Just to show you the setup, we just did two handheld interviews two cameras, audio guy, they're all over there. I was out here getting scenics, kind of like a uh, shot from the wall all the way over there, just to give you an idea. Joe is droning right now. It's tough to vlog when I'm on these sets because one, I can't show y'all what we're shooting, obviously, and two, we're so busy. So this is like a fire drill shoot so much in two days, but it's fun. Quick update in between shoots here. The view from this stadium is insane, but we shot all day. I'll explain a little bit of it later in the room. This is insane. Look at this. So before we get 
started on this day two of the shoot here in Mexico. I just wanna briefly go through my experience to get me to that point of that DM wherever, when I, when I first got this job with MLB. When I was in high school, the end of my days in high school, I bought a camera just to mess around with, went to the golf course with my friends, messed around with it, and I loved the whole process of filming, editing, that whole shebang. Stayed up till like 4 a.m. making this dumb video, and from then on out, I was lucky enough to film my baseball team. And my senior year of high school, we were good. Our baseball team was really good. And we had a parent that shot all the games. So he gave me all the footage and I would make these like hype videos, right? Corny, g Easy songs, whatever. I was doing it for free, spending tons of time on them. They were great and I loved them. But that gave me a little bit of portfolio to show to Georgia when I was able to get this job. They were looking for freshmen, people that they could tutor and teach for a couple of years and they'd be really good by then and they could really help out for cheap, you know, I was a student. So that's how that went along and I worked at Georgia for four years doing all sports, mainly baseball, I'd say a lot of softball, a lot of basketball, some football here and there, more on the editing post side, but I did a lot of stuff and that really helped me and I learned pretty much everything there. And I also did an internship with DC United because I wanted to do more soccer, which I didn't do much of at Georgia. And without all this experience, all of that snowballing together, I wouldn't have gotten this opportunity with MLB to be here in Mexico on a you know three days notice, two days notice, or whatever in the middle of a, a middle of a foreign country, and also in things like Prague and at the World Series. Day two, Com completamos. I don't know if that's the right Spanish. Terminamos. Let's say for a vlog, thirty likes. Jump in the pool. Joe, could you jump from up there? Could you do backflip into the pool? Uh, Challenge him to 30 likes. Is this deep enough? I mean, don't you barely get 30 views? <laughs> it's not too deep though, it's is not it? Too deep, yeah, but I can do front flip. But, I mean, if you get like 10 likes, sheesh. <laughs> can you explain to the viewers who haven't worked in on that many sets or any production things like that what you do post processing how can you explain how you DIT just briefly so I know it's a big complicated process all right well we work as a hybrid production pretty much is on the go so I mean most of our projects we have to do DP AD uh, sometimes key grip well most of the time key grip and then, yeah <laughs> now, towards the end of the night we have to do the uh, DIT work uh, basically we have to compile the footage, taped means it's been um, dumped, and we just compile all these footages, and we have to organize it, and we have to send it up to our editor, so um, we, have to, we have time, we have to curate all the content, and kind of shape every folder into storytelling sector, so. Yeah. And then we go with the structure and the flow. Mostly, like, we have to work with Pete's blurry footages. It's kind of <laughs> tough, but. <laughs> um, one thing I told Joe and Lucas this year was that I wanted to work on more long form stuff like this So I'm trying to learn and learn. I did a little, tiny bit of it at Georgia, but not this in depth I didn't have as much, you know influence on the project. It's good to be doing stuff like this I learned a lot which is important after one more day of shooting with the Urias brothers. We wrapped our shoot the Urias Brothers family and friends invited us over for some carne asada. I mean, look at this meat shot, whole nine yards on the grill and everything. It was insane. Homemade salsa, homemade guac. Look at Joe just enjoying this. And we said bye to our little hotel, two hour drive to Hermosillo, and then two flights, one to Mexico City and then layover Mexico City to Atlanta. And we're home. Ugh. When it comes to actually landing my job with Major League Baseball, I got a little bit lucky. Like I said, I was going about my business my senior year at Georgia, shooting all sports, and then I posted a Georgia Baseball walk-off video from their opening weekend. It was like the first game, I think, in 2020, and the team was really, really good. They were ranked like second in the country, and it was a little walk-off. Right after that, Lucas Stevenson, my current boss, reached out to me, asked me what I was doing for my post-grad plans, and from there, I applied went through two interviews, maybe an editing test, I really can't remember, a month before the pandemic, and I got hired. Now granted, it was part-time as a VCC, but I was told I was gonna be working quite a bit during the season, and that was fine for me, because you know, a month later, the pandemic hit, and a lot of my friends didn't have jobs. So I got lucky in that aspect of how it actually came to be, and then kind of the timing of the pandemic, I got very lucky, and then it snowballed to full-time now. So it's really worked out for me. Not saying that that exact path is going to happen for you because 
getting a job through Instagram is not exactly like how I envisioned it in my head or what I was told throughout school. I never thought that would happen. I thought it'd be through, you know, like a career fair or something. <laughs> but I'm so happy with how it happened and you need that kind of luck sometimes. This brings us to the final question, the final time I will answer this question, how I got my job with MLB and how do you go about doing the same thing or with, you know, an NFL or another team? I mean, my advice for you and my advice how I've answered this question over the years is just build up your work as much as you can and let your work do the talking. Shoot things for free, shoot your family's, you know, road trips, your travels, things like that. Get your can get a camera in your hand as much as you can, whether that be photo or video, it doesn't matter. Just shoot little moments outside of sports and then also build up your sports experience as well. Shoot your rec basketball leagues around your town, shoot your local high school team for free or whatever. You know, you're gonna have to do some stuff for free and then just build up your portfolio, keep learning, keep growing, and then let your work do the talking. And if you're in a position where like you're, you're struggling to get that in, when you're at events, when you are out there in the real world shooting games, network as much as you can, network with coaches, managers, equipment people, other photographers and, and filmmakers, videographers, do all that stuff because you never know who you're gonna meet out there. And another thing you can do is reach out to us, reach out to people who work in the industry, shoot them a DM. You never know where it can lead. For example, we have an LCC, Nathan Blumberg. He also has a YouTube channel, go subscribe to him, who works in Tampa. And he used to DM me and Matthew Grimes all the time and other LCCs and other VCCs on our team at MLB in the 2020 year. And you know, his work kind of got better, kept improving, and he finally got the job the next year. He's become a good friend of mine as well. And that's an example of, I knew who Nathan was because he kept you know, messaging all of us, reaching out, asking for tips and things like that. So if you want to do that, go ahead. I'm always around for tips and most of us will reply because ultimately I think the main value here is helping other people. If you can make an impact on other people, I'm always gonna try and reply to those messages. When it comes to actually applying to internships and jobs themselves, look on Indeed, look on LinkedIn, sign up for the LinkedIn you know, job emails, go on Teamwork Online, I've done a video on that before. There's a multitude of different ways you can find these jobs, you just gotta be aware, you just gotta have your sensors, your eyes open all the time. If you have any further questions, let me know in the comments below or DM me on Instagram. Anyways, thanks y'all for watching and I will see y'all in the next one.